It's a nice hot summer day, but even I don't want to jump into ice cold water. So we're bringing off the chill and eating the kiddie pool with fire. Want to find out? Keep watching. Ginger, get in. Oh yeah. Here. So here is our setup, and this doesn't have to be the only setup, this isn't written in stone. I'm going to show you how I'm doing it right now, the couple different methods that I can use. I'm going to reference a bunch of different videos where some of these projects were made, and, and so on. So the first key element is this firebox. This is a, just a, like a, I'll call it like a pot belly stove, it's not really a pot belly stove, but it's made from an old propane tank, there's a whole video on that, and it's actually wrapped in a coil of electrical conduit pipe and I have a video on how to bend it up like that but we have the garden hose just pushing water up in and it's just on a trickle I mean not a trickle but it's a, a decent flow and it flows around this metal coil that's getting heated up by the firebox and then it just flows out here and it's just running through this red hose which is actually a uh, PEX it's for plumbing and it just, it could be any type of hose. It could be more garden hose and it just dumps in the pool. And depending on, you know, I have it at, you know, it's going through there, not at a trickle, but a, a slow, a slow rate. And it's raising the water temperature anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit going through there. If you slowed it down it raise it a little bit more. And as it's doing that, it's filling up the pool, taking that, that edge off and everything's just, you know, it's just wedged in there. This is completely an open system. In other words, it cannot build pressure. You do not want it to be able to build pressure because then you create steam and you create essentially a bomb. But if as long as, it, I mean, that ends open, that ends open. These aren't clamped on really. That hose could just fall out. That hose could just fall out. Everything's just kind of a, there's really no pressure being held in that system. Um, there's videos again on how to build a pot belly stove, how to coil hose, all of that. I have a couple other methods that I've used in the past for heating water. One is, here's another just coil. This one I use just in a fire pit. You can just throw, as long as water is running through it, it'll never burn up the pipe. And you can just throw that right in the middle of a fire pit and you can heat water. And the way we flow water through that if we don't have a hose or something else is this. And this is a bilge pump. This is what they use in the bottom of boats. They run off 12 volts. You just hook it to a, like a car battery and it just runs. And that's also how I will boost the temperature of an existing pool. So once the pool's already filled up, then I need to run, I just need to circulate the water in there, back through, just to bump up the temperature to where I want. I know you guys can't feel, but this right here, this is ice cold. You hop in this, this takes your breath away. Hop in this, it's just cold water. It's below, a little below a lukewarm bath the rate that I have it running through right now. But I mean, it's raising, I would say it's raising about, right now I got this fire. I mean, I can barely keep my hand, I can't keep my hand around this thing. It's raising it probably almost 15 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So I no longer have the hose supplying the pressure. So we get rid of the hose and now we're gonna use a bilge pump. So this is just a 12 volt bilge pump used in the bottom of boats. And I've just got rubber line on here that just kind of fits. Nothing needs to be clamped, nothing is that high pressure. And this just runs off of 12 volts. I mean, if this is something you want to do, you don't have to have a 12 volt thing. You could, if you find a 120 volt one. And then on the end of it, I just have a cigarette lighter plug that would just go into your car. I have it hooked up to just a battery here. And it should be pumping. Maybe. There we go. So that's gonna start pumping and feeding this line now. We'll come back here and you can see it coming out. And we're just gonna plug this right into there. That's gonna fill up that whole line. I've let that sit for a minute, so it's kind of hot. It's just gonna feed around there. And then it's just gonna coil back through and see my different lines and now it's just going to circulate the water that's in the pool and heat it up to where I want so every pass through if it raises it you know about 10 degrees we can get this pool up to maybe 80 degrees or so and it's going to feel wonderful 
And I've just got a little piece of metal over the top to kind of retain some of the heat. Every once in a while, we just got to open it up and put in a little, another little chunk of wood. Kind of close it up, but that just kind of retains the heat. I did have this system with a heater core heating my greenhouse. So it had like a car heater core with little fans blowing through it. So just like your car produces heat. Um, same setup and it did work okay. It was just a lot to heat a greenhouse. But this whole coil, that's about 20 feet of, of coil. And I believe that one is 20 feet as well. Two 10 foot sections welded together. But uh, I'll put links below where you can get all of this stuff. Like if you want one of these bilge pumps, they're not expensive. But we'll test the water temperature now and see what we're coming out at. And so we're stabilizing. We're coming out at about 88 degrees Fahrenheit, which is for you other guys, which is about 31.2 C. So about 88 is what the temperature of the water that I'm pouring in right now, circulating from the, the pump through. That is going to feel good. That actually feels wonderful right now. Won't take your breath away. I'll put links to all the videos that kind of pertain to this. Make it your own. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up if you enjoy it. Have a good one. Bye. Come on.